It sounds too good to be true. Energy that is neither polluting nor radioactive. Nuclear fusion, the same energy that powers the sun and stars. Fusing atoms has been an elusive force, an unsustainable energy for scientists to replicate on Earth. Too much energy goes in for what comes out. Now, scientists at the Lawrence Livermore Laboratory in California have made a breakthrough that they will announce Tuesday. Similar work is underway at General Fusion in Vancouver, where they're pioneering plasmas to create a net energy gain. Fusion is the holy grail of energy. The industry's been chasing this for a long time, achieving those conditions in a way that you get more energy out than what you put in. Uh, is, is, is a big, important step. For about 75 years, the world has harnessed nuclear power using fission, energy that comes from splitting atoms. In fusion, atoms are joined, creating bigger atoms, also releasing energy. What difference does that make? Well, in fission, heavier atoms are needed, primarily uranium as well as plutonium, which are radioactive, and you're left with used nuclear fuel that remains contaminated for tens of thousands of years. In fusion, lighter atoms, such as hydrogen, can be smashed together, and what's produced are larger helium atoms, creating even more powerful energy with little or no radioactive waste. Nuclear fission energy is a legacy that Canada in particular must deal with. Ontario's Bruce nuclear plant stores more than a million spent radioactive bundles in huge containers for which a permanent disposal site must still be found. The race for clean fusion power is on in labs all over the world. With its partner in the UK, General Fusion plans to build a demonstration power plant that will be up and running in about four years, with a full-scale commercial plant on the grid in the early 2030s. You're creating a mini sun on the Earth. Uh, and so when you're doing that inside a machine, you can imagine the damage that happens to it. You can imagine the challenges with extracting that, that energy and actually converting it to something useful and putting it on the grid. At one time, fusion seemed an unattainable, maybe even unnecessary pipe dream. But in the era of climate change, there is increasing awareness that clean energy solutions for future generations have to be developed now. Fusion could be a big part of that cleaner, safer future. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.